welcome you all to um, Bahrain Brandeis, the Lapa'a Reconciliation Project, Finding Common Ground Through Oral History and the Arts. Um, we're very excited to be getting started. I apologize for the slight delay. Honestly, I want to say we had a very hard time finding a room, and we were so happy to have this room, but we didn't have a lot of time to set up. But we're really um, very excited <coughs> to be here to share with uh, nine, at this point, nine guests from Bahrain and members of the Brandeis community. And I want to say to those of you who are, haven't had the privileges I had to work with these artists, you're in for a real treat this evening. Um, and I say that with, of course, awareness of the sadness that's gripping our city at this moment. I think it's impossible to gather and think about peace building in the arts and not acknowledge what's happening <coughs> surrounding us at the moment. Um, and I, I guess I would just say that at a moment like this, what a community needs is for people to reach out to each other with compassion and care, and not to descend into the cycles of hatred that animate this horrible act. It's hurting our neighbors. And the, the really um, exciting thing to me about this evening is that we can be inspired by 10 young artists from a part of the world where they might have had every reason to descend into similar cycles of hatred that we're fearing, and they have chosen not to. And uh, they've chosen <laughs> instead to find a middle way, to find a way of compassion and understanding. Um, and I'm sure that this will become apparent to you immediately as soon as you hear them describe their work. Um, so they've chosen something different to help their fellow citizens discover and rediscover each other's humanity. And in the face of official silence in the US about the violations of human rights that have been perpetrated by some in power in their country, and the US is definitely a player in the conflict in their country, they have chosen to avoid dehumanizing us as well. Um, so I'm going to soon, tur soon turn this program over to the two coordinators of this project. Um, but before I want to do I just want to say this team is here for a week of training and exploration of oral history, peace building, and the arts. Um, and they're going to share with us tonight work that they've already been doing in their community. And that this work will now, they will be continuing, but informed by the work that they're doing this week um, in various workshops and in visiting with artists in the Boston area, as well as various students and faculty in, this, in the Brandeis community. I want to thank for this evening the Peace Building in the Arts Program Administrator, Naomi Suzuki, and the students who worked with us, Aliyah and Suzanne Rothman, who's not here, for the work to make this whole evening possible. Um, it's, it's, it's turned out to be a complicated event, but we're really happy to see everyone, and we really appreciate the work behind the scenes that you all did. And David Weinstein from the Ethics Center is, uh, is documenting. Um, Many people here are leaving afterwards, or several people for another engagement immediately after. So if you are here and want to connect more with these artists but can't come with us uh, this evening, I want to tell you that there's another opportunity, which is Friday at noon in the multipurpose room of the Shapiro Campus Center. There'll be an opening of an exhibition of work. So there'll be another chance for conversation after today. And the exhibition that they're mounting there will be left up for the Bernstein, Leonard Bernstein Festival of the Arts coming next week to Brandeis. So um, we're, we're really appreciative that you did that. So now, without further ado, I will welcome Tamader Ali Al Fahal and Nadia, yeah, I know, Nadia Abdul Nabi Al Aradi, who will, in due course, uh, introduce the rest of their colleagues from Bahrain. <laughs> 